You know, I was walking this morning to get my dog out, and as I was walking, I passed down backyard this little step, and I saw this sort of round, shiny thing, and it really caught my eye, and I thought, wow, what is that? <laughs> it's kind of dark outside, and there's this beautiful, shiny object there. And I thought to myself, you know, on the way back, I need to check. I hope that's not a snail, maybe the first snail of the season. And so I had that in my mind. And as the dog was being carried to the grassy part of our yard, I thought about that. And I made a resolution to not forget to see what that was in case it was a snail. As fate would have it, the dog... She didn't go the first time, and she tried to run back upstairs because she wanted her breakfast. And so I grabbed her, and then I walked her all the way back down to where the grassy part was and set her there and watched her. And the object that I'd been thinking about, it, it just slipped out of my mind. And at that point, I forgot about that thing that I was supposed to remember, that thing that was um, very important to me. And so as I pick her up and I'm walking along that same step that I'd vowed to remember, I heard a crack. And I thought, oh no, and I looked down and what I saw, indeed, it was a snail. Cracked shell, crushed body, flailing, and it just broke my heart. And I held Rosie and I, and I picked up the snail and I looked at it and I thought, my gosh, I just ended the life of this thing that was just, just trying to be, just trying to exist, just as I am trying to exist. This early morning, just trying to start the day and as I laid it on the rocks, I, I wept inside. And I walked up the steps just feeling like, wow, what a, what a curse, what a, what a horrible way to start the day. And it stuck in my mind. And as I got the kids up and got everybody ready for school and we dropped them off, I went about my routine, I went to the gym and worked out. And then when I finished, I was about to open my locker and I thought, gosh, what, what a beautiful thing it would have been just to have that snail, to have that snail with me, to see it alive. And, and now it's gone. And then all of a sudden I, I, I opened the door to go outside and thinking about the snail, I looked down and there was another snail right there. By the gym floor. Now, the location of this snail, and it, it was surely going to be a goner <laughs> because the 7:30, 8:30 rush of people, they were they were going to come. They were going to cr crush this snail. So immediately, I, I and my heart just opened up with joy, and I picked up the snail and I looked at it, and I and I thought to myself, Oh my gosh, the universe gives us another opportunity always if we look and I thought this is the singularity of that snail it's it's the soul it's the essence of that life coming back and giving me another chance a redemption to save which I never would have looked at that snail I might have stepped on it had the other one not volunteered itself for my lesson for everybody's lesson today so I carried that snail with me, and she stayed with me in the car. She crawled up my arm, up my hand, <laughs> and uh, I put her in the yard in the same place by the canyon, by the open preserve, where I would have put the first one had I been paying attention. And I thought, what a wondrous thing that even when we fall, even when we falter, if we keep looking we can find a way to make a difference because ultimately everything is connected. Like no one is lost. Nothing is taken away without something else given. 
And I thought, what a wonderful organized design our world is. Yet, we don't look for that. You know, we go about our day running and scattering and searching and seeking, maybe looking at a phone or some device, and we hear a crunch at our feet, and we don't even pay attention, or we think, oh, good, one less of those things. What would happen if we just stopped to be present, to be present into what really is happening, what really is the magic of life and the interconnectedness of all that we are? What would happen in that moment? What magic could we unfold every single day if we just did that? And maybe that's why we're here every day. That's why we do what we do. That's why we are being what we are being on these calls. So that that magic can permeate into our life and show up for others. Welcome to You Wealth Revolution. <laughs> 